Hi, welcome to Jiggy Math. Here's another video on solving math word problems for upper primary students. Solving word problems is considered as one of the most difficult skills to learn in primary school. And if students only have a choice, some of them might simply opt to run away from it. The key is not to get overwhelmed trying to do everything at once. So let's start by solving a simple word problem such as this. A skirt costs three times as much as a blouse. The blouse cost $98 less than the skirt. How much did the skirt cost? First, let's try to find out which of the two items cost less. And by reading the first statement, we would know that the answer is the blouse. And we can represent that by drawing one unit. And for the skirt, we can draw three units since it's co it costs thrice as much as the blouse. Now, we learned earlier that the blouse costs less than the skirt. By how much? By $98. And we can represent that in our model like this. Now, remember, we are looking for the cost of the skirt. Examining our model, we can see that $98 here is actually equal to 2 units, so we can use this clue to solve our problem. 2 units is equal to $98. And to get 1 unit, we have to divide the amount by 2, and we will get this answer. Now, remember, we are looking for the skirt, so 3 units is equal to $49 times 3, and this will give us $147. Therefore, the skirt cost $147. Let's try solving another problem. Mrs. Ang paid $324 for a bag and three similar pairs of shoes. The bag cost half as much as the three pairs of shoes. Find the cost of the bag. Here in this problem, it would be easier if we draw a representation for shoes first because this was used as the reference cost of the bag. So I'll draw one unit for the shoes. And how many pairs of shoes have been bought? There were three pairs. Now, to find the cost of the bag, we can look for how much is half of that. So we can use this as the reference point for the cost of the bag. Now, do you notice that one unit is divided into two equal units? It will be easier if we do the same thing for all the unit bars that we drew. And we can also do the same thing for the bag. Now, to complete the model, we know that all the items cost $324. Now we are ready to solve. It's, it can be seen clearly that we have 9 equal units here. So, 9 units equal to 324. And to get 1 unit, divide it by 9. So, we have $36 for 1 unit. Remember, the bag here has 3 units, so we just have to multiply this amount by 3. We will get $108. The final answer is, the cost of the bag is $108. This time, let's try solving a more challenging question. Mr. Tan is 55 years old. And Tony is seven years old. In how many years' time will Mr. Tan be four times as old as Tony? In this problem, it will be easier if we get the age gap of Mr. Tan and Tony first. And to get this, we just have to subtract 55 minus 7 equals 48. So Mr. Tan is 48 years older than Tony. Now let's draw the model to represent Tony's age since he is younger. 
So we draw one unit for Tony. What about for Mr. Tan? We can use this clue. So for Mr. Tan's age, after several years, it's, it has four units. Now remember, earlier we got the age gap of Mr. Tan and Tony. And we can reflect this in our model like this. By looking at our model, we can see that 48 years has three units. So we can work out on this clue first to solve the problem. So three units is equal to 48. And to get the representation for Tony's age, which is one unit, we have to divide it by three. And we will get 16. One unit represents Tony's age after some years when Mr. Mr. Tan is four times as old as him. So, we have to get the time difference between this age and Tony's current age, which is 7. So, 16 minus 7 will give us 9. Therefore, Mr. Tan will be four times as old as Tony in nine years' time. Fourth problem. This time, you may use a calculator to solve this problem. A school bought five similar digital cameras and three similar video cameras for $3,213. Each video camera cost four times as much as each digital camera. Find the cost of a video camera. Now, between the two items, we know that the digital camera cost less. So we can draw a rep representation for that by drawing one unit. And now, for the video camera, we can draw a longer bar since it costs more than the digital camera. How much more? Four times more. So we can divide this long bar into four equal units. Now let's complete the model. Remember, there were five similar digital cameras that have been bought. So let's do that. So now we have five units for digital camera. What about for video cameras? How many video cameras were bought? There were three. So if I divided one unit into four equal units, I should also do the same thing here. In this way, it is easier for us to get the value of one unit. Let's complete the, the model. So all the items were paid purchased for this amount, $3,213. And our problem is to find the cost of one video camera. Let's solve. Now we can get how many units are there in all? So we have 5 here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there are 17 units, which is equal to 3,213. And to get 1 unit, we have to divide it by 17, and this will give us $189. So 1 unit is equal to $189. And how many units are there for one video camera? There are four units. So we just have to multiply it by four. And this will give us $756. Therefore, the cost of the video camera is $756. Now we are in the last set of problem. And Ryan and Joel helped collect used drink cans for recycling. They collected a total of 1,925 cans. Ryan collected twice as many cans as Anne. Joel collected twice as many cans as Ryan. How many cans did Joel collect? In the problem, we can see clearly that there are three persons involved, Anne, Ryan, and Joel. Now, in representing the model, it will be easier if we find out who among them collected the least amount. It's Anne. 
So let's represent Anne's number of cans by drawing one unit. And looking further in our clue, we can find out that Tryon collected twice as many cans as Anne. So we can draw two units. And lastly, Joel collected twice as many cans as Ryan. So we can draw twice of that. And we can divide our unit like this to get equal units. Now, in the problem, it also it was mentioned that all of them collected a total of 1,925 cans. So we can represent that in our model by writing this. And what is, our, is the question that we need to find out? We are going to look for Joel's cans. Now, we know that there are seven equal units in all and it's equivalent to 1,925. To get one unit, we just have to divide it by seven, which is equal to 275. Now, we are looking for the number of cans Joel collected, and we can see that Joel has four units here. So 275 times four will give us 1,100. Therefore, Joel collected 1,100 soda cans. This is the end of our lesson video. I hope you learned something from this. See you next time.